What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Fail34, and today I'm here with my reaction video to Community. This one is Season 3, Episode 7. How's it going, everyone? So, uh, last episode was uh, Pierce Hawthorne-centric and uh, Jeff's father issues. So, uh, let's see what this one's gonna be focusing on. As always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said, let's just dive into this one, y'all. Three, two, one, yeet. <laughs> moving out, Annie. I'm so glad you're moving out of this neighborhood, Annie. Some dude peed on my car while I was parking it. Oh, you met Spaghetti. Yeah, I won't miss him. Thanks for helping. Can you imagine how much fun this is gonna be, me living with Troy and Abed? Yeah, they're actually going with this. Phase, but won't be long till you hate their guts. I'll never hate Troy and Abed. My God, I forgot, you're 20. Don't worry, it's natural. When you become roommates with friends, the things you love about them become the things that make you want to smother them with a pillow. Hit it! Yeah, like I'm gonna get sick of this. What, 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 what? What are you tweeting? Everything. We're live tweeting Annie's Move on Twitter. Hashtag Annie's Move. How fun! Hold it. Where's Winger? Sick. Shaw. Yeah, I'm calling him. Shaw. That's right, Britta. I'm pretending to be violently ill to avoid lifting a few boxes. And who's your primary care physician, Mr. Winger? Uh, Dr. Schroeder. Wait, you at a hospital? No, I'm at the Gap. Dr. Tarpinian to radiology. Dr. Tarpinian. Crap. I, I'm sorry. I just assumed. Whatever. I don't blame you. I've lied before. <laughs> a hooked it's line and sinker. That I'm sick. But believe me, if you had what I have, you'd rather be moving boxes. So I guess the ongoing threat of season two is a Shirley pregnancy. So maybe this issue, this season might be uh, the chaos that'll ensue when they all live together. I think I left some in the bathroom. Nope, nah, uh, nothing in here. You guys, you used I actually had to do I that. I had a big breakfast. Okay, there may be a slight danger. I will end up hating them. Man, children, can't live with them, can't leave them alone with your tape. Britta, don't make jokes. You're bad at it. What I'm saying, Annie, is that if you're gonna live with two guys like that, you've gotta learn to go limp. Lucy goosey Shake it all off. Limp. Lucy goosey Okay. New Annie. Going with the flow. Okay, go. Ah! Didn't feel it. What? What the fuck? A fun use you found for my bubble wrap. I know, we have to sell this to the military. Yeah, they did. Y'all, Here's the other tape gun. Think fast. <laughs> Ooh! You broke my pluggy thing. No worries. That's what the security deposit is for. I'll fix it. I used to do that kind of thing all the time when I was a slumlord. Really, Pierce? My landlord's coming by to do the inspection at five. Do you think you can have it done by then? Easy peasy, George and Wheezy. What's the saying? If you can't stop them, judge them. Well, somebody's got to be this group's moral compass. And that somebody has to be you, right? Because by moral compass, you mean Shirley's religion. Want to ride? Well, if this is a forecast of the conversation, I will ride with somebody else. Don't worry, Shirley. Keep me company while I fix this, and I'll give you a ride over there. Rita! <laughs> well, hey there, stranger. <laughs> oh, great. The deed's involved. What Let's a see. coincidence, huh? It's Saturday. Call me Craig. Off campus, I'm just a Craigular Joe. Ooh, what'd you get? Dean, uh, Craig, it's nice to see you, but I actually have to run. Oh, yeah, you're probably heading to help Annie move, right? Oh, I follow Troy and Abed on Twitter. Looks like Annie's moving and you're sick at the hospital. I might head there myself. I could tell them you said hi. I'd rather you didn't. Well, maybe I won't have time, especially if we're doing lunch. Uh, you got him. Oh, look, a hitchhiker, a person in need. Oh my God, what am I doing? I'm pulling over to help him out. Do not help him out. Why? Because it proves the existence of secular morality? No, because he looks stinky. Where are you headed, fellow human? Riverside Falls? That's 40 minutes away. Oh, I guess I'm just a really good person. I knew you were. I assume you've both accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Oh, that's nice. Oh! Jesus. You know, I don't know what the dude who plays Xander in Buffy the Vampire Slayer looks like 20 odd years later. But he sure sounds like that guy we just, that hitchhiker. 
That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say that is him, but the voice is oddly fim is oddly similar. There's the bathroom, kitchen, and of course, our bedroom. Now let's go see your room. <laughs> oh gosh. What's that? That is your room. Oh no. You said this was a two bedroom. It is. One, two. Yours is a blanket for it. An awesome blanket for it. I'm not surprised you're so taken aback. This apartment is where dreams come true. We spent our whole lives being told that blanket forts are only for special occasions, like sleepovers or when uncles die. But that's a lie, Annie. You can live in a fort of blankets all day, every night. It's so awesome! And what's that door over there? That's not a bedroom? No, 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 no. no. Is it a linen closet? Something like that. What's a linen closet? You and I are going to have some fun and create a few memories, and I suggest you get into it, because that counts. Song for the senor. Senor. Adios, amores. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> Meanwhile. This, this is actually quite calming for some reason. So inspiring how he came to find the Lord, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't exactly have to find the Lord. He was inside me. Amen! What's your name, friend? Jesus. Oh, are you Latino? No, my child. I am him. You're what now? I am the one true son of God. I was sent here to save humanity. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's conscience. like that meme. <laughs> Have a meltdown. Hear me, hear me. Presenting the real life fairy tale of how Princess Annie was saved from bad neighborhood forest by woodsman Troy and Bieber, his emotionally unavailable unicorn. Come on, Jeffrey, get out of here. <laughs> this is gonna be fun, or else. So we just put or else. Number. That's right. You know this one, Jeff. What we sang it a thousand times together in my mind. Uh, uh, oh, come on, Jeffrey. There used to be a gray and tower alone on the sea. You became the light on the dark side of me. Did you know the light? He was just high as a kite. Incredible. That was great. <laughs> yeah, it might have been a little fun. Huh? And you emailed your therapist that you wanted to be alone this weekend. <laughs> what? Hmm? You read student emails? Oh, uh, well, now the Patriot Act says they can do it, Jeffrey, technically. Need I remind you the nation is at war? <laughs> Kill you. No, Jeffrey, no. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, come on. Just remember we were made. No, Jeffrey, no. We were made. Don't let the terrorists. And then the three of them lived happily ever after. <laughs> you guys, living here is gonna be fun all the time. Let's make the entire apartment a fort. I'll get more blankets. It was a test. This is a real bedroom. This is a space we reserve for virtual adventures, like a playroom, but it only works in our minds. We call it the Dreamatorium. It's a bedroom. No, no. There's only two bedrooms, including the blanket fort. This is the dreamatorium. All day, I've been jumping through hoops to fit in, including the literal hoops you put in front of the toilet. And you guys are hoarding this second bedroom as some kind of playroom? And making me sleep on a pile of laundry? Hey, That's crazy. we worked hard on that, and it's a blanket fort. It's an asylum for half-witted children! From the minute I joined the study group, I've been worried about how uptight I am and how I'm no fun. And then I was worried that I wouldn't fit in here or be able to hang with you guys. But you know what? Why don't you ever ask yourselves whether you can hang with me? Why am I always the one that has to adapt? I'm sick of this crap. Hit him, Enjoy man. your stupid dreamatorium. We will. Because this is our apartment, too. And just because we're awesome doesn't mean we're not adults. 
Annie cigarette? I don't want a candy cigarette. I want our Annie. Yeah, we blew it. Picked a long week to quit. <laughs> what the hell is it's this? Back Security to deposit school. terms. It's a gold mine. And you're lucky it's only going to cost you money. Your friend nearly killed himself. I'm really sorry, Annie. I had some island girls over, and one of them must have slipped me a Mickey. I'm just glad you're okay. You've been out long enough for me to realize that I'm going to need to keep living alone. Come on. Let's get you cleaned up. Oh, what the hell? I have brain damage. Nothing I do counts. <sighs> Troy! Abed! It's all yours. We're sorry. Sometimes we get stuck in our own little world. And then in that world, we make even littler worlds. And sometimes there are tunnels between those worlds. Or subway. One time a snake. We're sorry. Do you like it? Of course I do. It's perfect. Hi, guys. I thought you were sick. I was. Int. I kind of made it up to get out of helping. Huh. That's OK. It is? Yeah, it is. Oh, hey, Jeff, did you know that when it snows, my eyes become large? And the light that you shine can't be seen. Baby! Between it And now that your rose is in bloom, a light hits the gloom on the gray. All thanks to Horsepower 3000. He belongs to the stars now. All right, five more minutes and we should probably put a stop to this, right? <laughs> Jeff, are you... I liked Horsepower 3000. <laughs> and that was my reaction video to Community Season 3, Episode 7. That was my reaction video. I actually thought this was a really great episode of Community. It had a bit of everything for me. It had some laughs. Uh, I had the, you know the wonky tone uh, that, that usual community episodes have, but this one I thought was in good taste. You know, the idea of Annie moving in is also a pretty serious plot thread, and the idea of Annie trying to fit in, as she as she explained later on, that she always has been, and having Troy and Abed be extra childish, um, no pun intended because it's Charles Gambino. It was really, it was a really, it was a really good plot point. All the side stories worked here surprisingly well. Um, having Pierce is being off in his own world made for some pretty fun laughs throughout the middle of these episodes when we cut to him. Uh, Shirley and Britta having a little back and forth banter between about her religion and morality and then having this random dude picking up, picking up this stray who, uh, who thought he was literally Jesus. I thought this was a really well balanced episode made for just a, a, a fun watch. And just the, the randomness to it, having the Dean and Chef having a solo adventure and him being blackmailed in the use of Twitter. Uh, this one is really, this one was a surprisingly good episode that just worked all around for me. Um, I can't really find many, very many complaints here. Um, or stood out to me or, or bugged me about this episode. I think this was just a, a fun, wholesome watch. It was a really nice message and just spend some quality time with each other, helping one of them out move in. Uh, I thought this, this was a pretty wholesome episode. But guys, that was Community Season 3, Episode 7. What do you think about this one? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. I actually really like this one. As always, if you enjoyed this, definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you all in the next one. Love ya.